Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How will local law enforcement and the National Guard be involved in deportations? As the new administration takes shape, there's a lot of focus on immigration policies and how they will be enforced. Local law enforcement agencies are set to play a major role in immigration enforcement. Under the new plan, they will be required to carry out increased immigration enforcement operations. This means diverting resources and personnel from community threats and crime prevention to patrol communities to identify and arrest unauthorized individuals. These local law enforcement agencies will collaborate with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, to arrest and detain individuals with undocumented status. Programs like the 287G program will facilitate this cooperation allowing local law enforcement officers to perform immigration enforcement duties under ICE supervision. In addition to local law enforcement, the National Guard could also be deployed to assist in the implementation of mass deportation. While Tom Homan, the newly appointed border czar, has stated that the military will not be rounding up and arresting suspects, the involvement of the National Guard in support roles is still a possibility. This could include assisting in raids and sweeps across various locations, including homes, workplaces, and other public areas. The use of the National Guard would entail significant additional costs and would divert resources away from national disaster response, military readiness, and other traditional roles filled by armed forces. This approach could also lead to an atmosphere of occupation, damaging community police relations, and eroding public trust, particularly in immigrant communities. To execute a mass deportation plan, the current ICE operations would be insufficient, and hundreds of thousands of additional enforcement officers and support staff would be needed. Local and state law enforcement, along with the National Guard, would be essential in supplementing these efforts. The involvement of these forces would also lead to widespread raids and sweeps, potentially including sensitive locations like schools, hospitals, and churches. These enforcement actions could rely on racial and ethnic profiling, which could ensnare and even deport U.S. citizens and other legal residents. Overall, the role of local law enforcement and the National Guard in deportations would be extensive, involving close coordination with federal agencies and a significant reallocation of resources. This would have far-reaching effects on community safety, public trust, and the overall social fabric of the country. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.